All right, right now I am in Grand Rapids and in this video, we're gonna talk about the 10 things to do in Grand Rapids this year. It is so exciting. Grand Rapids is such a thriving, growing city. So many people are just enjoying it, coming here to visit all the city has to offer. In this video, I wanna share with you 10 things to do in Grand Rapids and a few honorable mentions. As we get into the video, you do not wanna miss it. Number six is my absolute favorite. Let's get into the video. This is Live Great TV and I am your official host to Live in Great Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greathouse and if you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area, what it's like to live, work and have fun out here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, at least hit the like button so you won't miss out on all the brand new videos that I put out all the time. I get people who contact me each and every day wanting to know more about the city, wanting to know what the ins and outs are, what neighborhoods are the best, what things will suit their lifestyle, and that's exactly what I give to you in this video. So go below, check out my information. I even have a free relocation guide if you're considering moving here to tell you the ins and outs, the ups, the downs, the lefts, the rights, the wrongs, everything you need to know when it comes to moving to the Grand Rapids area. Let's get into the video. Looking for fun things to do on your Grand Rapids getaway? Ask 10 people for recommendations and you're likely to get 10 different answers. There's just so much that appeals here to different interests, ages, and vacation goals. We've assembled the list based on tourist numbers, social media mentions, and national attention. Let's get into it now. All right, number 10 is going to be Frederick Meyer Gardens. This is a, one of the most absolute best highlights when it comes to visiting the Grand Rapids area. Meyer is such a big, prominent name in the area. So many people know about the Myers Foundation, Myers supermarket a lot of this goes around about myers and this is actually a really great opportunity for you to explore what grand rapids has to offer as a culture tour one of the world's 45 most visited art museums right here in grand rapids frederick meyer gardens and sculpture park is internationally renowned for its sculpture collection featuring over 200 pieces by classic and contemporary masters as well as tropical conservatory japanese garden Michigan Farm Garden, Children's Garden, and other specialty habitats. FMG complements its permanent exhibits with special contemporary exhibits, and annual butterflies are blooming March through April, and Christmas and holiday traditions usually starting late November and ending your early January. This is an absolute highlight around the Grand Rapids area that you do not want to miss out on. Not to forget to mention that there are also year-round activities, and they do a lot of venues there as far as music and entertainment. Number nine is going to be the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Delve into local history, science, and culture at Michigan's oldest museum. Founded in 1854, the Grand Rapids Public Museum educates and entertains through interactive exhibits, innovative displays, and one of the state's largest collections of artifacts and specimens. Walk the streets of the 1890s in Grand Rapids, ride a 1928's carousel, Learn the stories of West Michigan's people and much, much more. In a bright and open Riverside facility, there's also a planetarium inside. I had a chance to take my daughter out to the planetarium and go to the Grand Rapids Museum. She had an absolute blast. It literally, when you go in there, it's like time flies right by. You end up spending about two or three hours not even really knowing that you were in there that long. So it's a great time and something you should definitely look out for. Number eight is going to be one of my absolute favorites, and that is the John Ball Park Zoo. The John Ball Zoo, for those who live in the area, is literally one of the things that you have to do every year just to get it out of your system because every year they have new exhibits and things are changing there all the time. Whether you're just petting the animals or you just want to go look, good food, good entertainment, and it's a quality time and you really get that bang for your buck if you want to spend the day there or you want to invite people or go just to see one of those exhibits that they have throughout the year. Visit one of the nation's oldest, most vital urban zoos. Just a five minute drive or bus ride from the busy streets of downtown Grand Rapids, John Ball Zoo is a refuge for more than 2,000 animals representing 230 species from around the world. Highlights include an aquarium, a hobby farm, forest realm, camel rides, a zip line, ropes course and an accessible playground it is an absolute highlight i even like going there in the fall when they have the animals actually celebrating halloween too so it's a great time to go in there and see the festivities all the exhibits that they change around you're really going to enjoy john ball zoo all right number seven is the van andel arena 
See a concert, sporting event, or family show at GR's premier entertainment destination. Van Andel Arena is a home base for the Grand Rapids Gold basketball team, Grand Rapids Griffins hockey team, and Grand Rapids Rise, the volleyball team. A preferred stop for touring superstars, Bruce Springsteen, Taylor Swift, Shawn Mendes, Chris Tomlin, and a host to endless events from brands like Disney on Ice, the Harlem Globetrotters, and WWE. Van Andel Arena consistently ranked one of the world's best entertainment venues for its size, and it seats 12,000. I talk about this in some of my other videos, but Van Andel Arena is really one of the biggest arenas. They're getting ready to build a new amphitheater, which is gonna hold roughly around 12,000 as well. But the Van Andel Arena is that staple place. It's right in the heart of downtown. So many people love going there. So many people have been there. People from all over Michigan come to the Van Andel Arena just to enjoy their favorite artists or their favorite show. And it's a really great time. You get in, get out, you don't get lost. It's a really great place. And if you're thinking of coming to the area, you've probably already heard about the Van Andel Arena. Okay, number six is the Grand Rapids Children's Museum. Take some time and have fun with your kids. The Grand Rapids Children's Museum is a hands-on learning space for kids aged one through 12, featuring two floors of interactive exhibits and a daily drop-in program that emphasizes the transformative power of play. Farm, dental, train, bus station, music, grocery store, and other environments promote practical learning through fun and imaginative activities. Truly a special place in my heart. Growing up in Grand Rapids, bringing my daughter out there, giving her a great time as she learns to play. It's a great environment for people who just wanna connect with other parents, kids that just wanna have fun, blow some bubbles, throw some toys around, just have a good time obviously being safe, not throwing toys, but actually just having a good time interacting with those in the community, getting to know one another and just enjoying yourself at the Children's Museum. So many different exhibits. I really think if you have children, you're gonna enjoy going to the Children's Museum out in Grand Rapids. Okay, number five is going to be Heritage Hill. As a real estate agent in the area, I know that Heritage Hill is a highly coveted area that a lot of people really wanna live. They wanna get to know that area. And it has a lot of history as far as some of the homes that date back all the way to the 1800s that you're really not gonna to wanna to miss out on. When it comes to the Heritage Hill area, usually the prices of those homes are somewhere around the 400, 500,000 range, and some of them can go up into the million range. But being in that area just gives you a good feel, just walking through the neighborhood, seeing areas like Martha's Vineyard, just going to different parks that are out there, seeing some of the old schools. You're literally just five minute walk from downtown if you're in the Heritage Hill area. It's a really great time and you get to see a lot of Grand Rapids culture and history as you go through Heritage Hill. Step back in time almost 200 years. Situated adjacent to downtown Grand Rapids, Heritage Hill is one of the largest historic districts in America and Michigan's largest and finest collection of 19th and early 20th century houses. The district encompasses more than 1,300 buildings that represent nearly every style of American architecture, from Greek revival to prairie, dating back to 1844. You can take a self-guided walking tour anytime to appreciate the home's exteriors and get inside seven to 10 buildings during the annual Heritage Hill Tour of Homes. And that's usually held in the third week of May. Absolutely one of Grand Rapids' best part of towns and a lot of history. You really get that feel when you come there. So make sure you check out Heritage Hill once you get out here. All right, the next on the list is gonna be one of the biggest reasons why people come to Grand Rapids, and that's going to be the art. Yes, the art. Art Prize every year, usually towards the fall, is one of the biggest events that happen out here in the Grand Rapids area, and one of the highlights to bring more people in so people can really get a feel for what this city has to offer. The Grand Rapids Art Museum is one of the best hosts for the Art Prize, and you get to see what naturally the artists in the area are doing to move this city in a positive and in the best direction. Get inspired and uplifted by the power of art. The world's first LEED gold certified art museum, one of Newsweek's best new buildings of 2007, the Grand Rapids Art Museum. It's home to a permanent collection of more than 6,000 paintings, prints, photographs, sculptures, and decorative art pieces dating from prehistory to the 20th century. It also hosts special exhibitions celebrating for the work of creative luminaries from Salvador Dali and Maya Lin 
to Jim Henson and Andy Warhol. Such a sophisticated experience, so much great art when you go through there. You get to see it during Art Prize, but naturally, any time of year you wanna go check out the Grand Rapids Art Museum, you can really get a sense of what this city has to offer and some of the amazing and talented people that are out here. It really is a privilege to be in this area knowing that so much art is around and you can see all the creativity that this area has to offer. Number three is gonna be for all my music lovers out there and it is gonna be the Grand Rapids Symphony Orchestra. My daughter plays the cello and she really gets a kick out of the Grand Rapids Symphony Orchestra and she really gets to enjoy a lot of the talented musicians that are out here. Not to forget to mention, there are some really big artists that come from the Grand Rapids area that you may know. I put a video in the description of some of the celebrities that are from the Grand Rapids area that you might not know about, so make sure you go and check that out as well. Attend a performance by one of America's leading regional orchestras. Established in 1930, the Grand Rapids Symphony presents more than 400 performances each year spanning music genres from classical to contemporary pop. The symphony appears most often in the acoustically rich environs of DeVos Performance Hall, where it also provides live accompaniments to many Grand Rapids Ballet and Opera Grand Rapids productions. The symphony was nominated for the Best Classical Crossover Album at the 2006 Grammy Awards a testament to its artistic excellence. I don't know how to play any orchestra instruments, but if I could, you know I'd be right over there. I like it that the city has so much diversity and so many opportunities for people to get involved, whether it's the tech space, the art space, music, business, medical. I even have videos talking about some of the best places to work in the area. If you're coming into town, to know where exactly you're gonna fit when you move to the Grand Rapids area. Make sure you get a hold of my relocation guide. I get people who call me all the time and I absolutely love it. So click that link, contact me, shoot me a text, email. I'm so happy to help you move out to the West Michigan area. It's really, truly a privilege of mine to help you make that transition to the area. All right, number two is going to be the downtown area. The downtown Grand Rapids area is really something you don't wanna miss out on. When you come to Grand Rapids, you're usually introduced right into the downtown area. And that's what a lot of people know the Grand Rapids area for. You're coming to see your favorite entertainer or you're going to a sports event. This is really gonna be one of the highlighted places to know more than what you're coming here for is available to you. And as your official host to living great in the area, I love helping out. So if you're making your way out here, make sure you get into contact with me as soon as you can to make sure you have the best experience possible. I'm happy to help. Experience the joy of community in the heart of downtown GR. Name one of America's best public spaces in 2017. Rosa Park Circle is a city square incorporating a mammoth work of art, Ecliptic, which was designed by Maya Lin, an architect of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C., to represent water in its three different forms. Not to forget to mention that Rosa Parks Circle also has an ice rink. During the winter months, there's usually always something to do in the area, whether you're just coming to visit and hang out or you wanna go ice skating, you wanna to go to some of the hockey games, you wanna to go to some of the festivals that are out here. Year-round activities are downtown, in the downtown area, world of winter, we just had it where they have ice sculptures, they have different shows. They even had a fire show in the winter time, which was really cool. So when you wanna come down to the Grand Rapids area, you're looking for fun things to do, look no further than right here on this channel because I love keeping you informed on the ins and outs of what's happening here in the city. An honorable mention for the downtown area, and I can't forget to speak about this because this is, after all, Grand Rapids Beer City, is gonna be some of the beer tours. Another option is to join the Brusade. Grand Rapids is Beer City USA, a title it's held since 2012. Beer loving visitors can go to the Beer City Brusades and get a free t-shirt. Just by downloading the app and checking out the eight areas of the 50 plus craft breweries. Visiting 40 plus breweries to become an ultimate Brusader. Yes, if you love beer, make sure you check this place out. All right, number one, last but not least, is gonna be one of my all-time favorites, and it's gonna be the fall season and going to Robinette's, picking apples, drinking apple cider, staying warm with your sweater on, going to a nice bonfire, just enjoying the fall month and the fall season, watching the colors change. It's an absolute blast. And number one on my list, 
just so you have information about coming to the West Michigan area, the Grand Rapids area. This is really going to be one of the cool highlights when you're visiting. Get in touch with nature at a century old family farm. Established in 1912, Robinette's Apple House and Winery is one of the area's most enduring agricultural operations. The 125 acre site includes fruit orchards with apricots, cherries, peaches, nectarines, and 35 different varieties of apples, plus a bakery, cider mill, winery, and dining space. There are also hiking and mountain biking trails, corn mazes, hay rides, a petting zoo, and a giant pumpkin pillow. It's a great place to see, taste, and appreciate nature's bounty. I absolutely love it in the fall season when it comes to Michigan. We got the four seasons, so that's something that I enjoy and something you're really gonna enjoy as you're making your way out here. I just wanna give you straight information. I even put some links below to some of the things that I may not have been able to mention here. Again, I get people who contact me all the time who want to know more about the area. When they move here, they need a good guide. They need feet on the ground. They need someone to really advocate for them. And I'm your guy. I'm your host. I'll be able to help you in any way possible and shoot it to you straight. I don't like to fluff around, but I do want to give you the information that's going to help you make the best decision, especially if you're thinking to move to this area. This is Vaughn Greathouse, local real estate agent, and I'm here to help you as you're making your way out to the West Michigan area. Again, for things to do in sites to see this is Live Great TV. I want to help you make that transition to the area. So give me a call. Let me know what you think. And if you have any comments or let me know where you're watching this video from, I love to hear where all the people are contacting me from watching the video. Even if you just put your city down in the comments, I just want to follow up and just say thank you for showing love, showing appreciation for the channel, taking the time to watch this video, especially if you got this far. Just give me some information on what you like, what you'd like to see. And I'll put that out for you just so you have a good heads up on what this area is all about. This is Vaughn Greathouse, your local host to live in Great and Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My information's gonna be right on the screen. So feel free to contact me anytime. And until next time, we will see you on the next video.